Hi, I wanted to read a poem written by Paul Lawrence, Lawrence Dunbar. Paul Lawrence Dunbar was a African-American poet. He was born in 1872 and died in 1906. He died of tuberculosis. But he was born in Dayton, Ohio, and then he, his parents were both former slaves. His father was uh, went through the Underground Railroad. He escaped and went to the Underground Railroad, and his mother was as freed as a slave after the Civil War. But he wrote in vernacular, you know, like, and then he also wrote in standard English. And this song is written kind of, this poem is written in a kind of vernacular called What Melindy Sings. What I'm going to say, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, when he went to school in Dayton, Ohio, he was the only uh, black child at the school, but he was also friends with Wilbur Orville Wright. They were also fellow students of his at his school in, in Dayton, Ohio. But this is called When Melindy Sings. Go ahead and quit that noise, Miss Lucy. Put that music book away. What's the use to keep on trying if you practice twelve your gray? You can't start no notes of flying like the ones that rants and rings from the kitchen to the big woods when Melindy sings. You ain't got the natural organs for to make the sound come right. You ain't got the the tons turns and twistings for to make it sweet and light. Tell you one thing now, Miss Lucy. And I'm telling you for true, when it comes to real right singing, it ain't no easy thing to do. Easy enough for folks to holler, looking at the lines and dots, when they ain't no one can sense it, and the tune comes in in spots. But for real melodious music, that just strikes your heart and clings, just you stand and listen with me when Melindy sings. Ain't you never heard Melindy? Blessed soul, take up the cross. Look here, ain't you joking, honey? Well, you don't know what you lost. You ought to hear that gal a wobbling, robins, larks, and all them things. Hush they mouths and hide they faces when Melindy sings. Fiddling man just stop his fiddling, lay his fiddle on the shelf. Mockingbird quit trying to whistle, cause he just so shamed himself. Folks are playing on the banjo, drops stay fingers on the strings. Bless your soul, forgets to move them when Melindy sings. She just spreads her mouth and hollers, come to Jesus. Twill you hear sinners trembling, steps and voices, timid like a draw, a drawing near. Then she turns the rock of ages, simply to the cross she clings, and you find your... Tears are dropping when Melindy sings. Who that says that humble praises with the master never counts? Hush your mouth. I hear that music as it rises up and mounts, floating by the hills and valleys way above this burying sod, as it makes its way in glory to the very gates of God. Oh, it's sweeter than the music of an educated band, and it's dearer than the battles song of triumph in the land. It seems holier than evening when the solemn church bells rings as I sit and calmly listen while Melindy sings. Towsa, stop that barking, hear me? Mandy, make that child keep still. Don't you hear the echoes calling from the valley to the hill? Let me listen, I can hear it. Though the breath, breath of angels' wings, soft and sweet, Swing low, sweet chariot, as Melindy sings. And that was written by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. He wrote a lot of poems. He started writing at the age of six, and then at the age of nine, he started reciting them in churches and in different places. And, and see, as he grew, he wrote uh, poems and books and sold them. He was an elevator operator, and in the elevator, he would sell his books of poetry. But he later on went on to, to recite and, and actually you know, make money as a poet. That's what Melindy Sings by Paul Lawrence Dunbar.